We're going to stay with vaccine, coronavirus, things of that nature. Uh, more people now eligible to try and get an appointment for a vaccine. We're joined now by Cuyahoga County Public Health Director Kathleen Cuddy. Kathleen, good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Um, before we get to those vaccine questions, uh, let's talk a little bit about cases. Uh, you've been in mostly the single digits for several days now, and I think with hospitalizations too. Um, generally speaking, how did that happen and what an incredible turnaround? How do we keep it there? Uh, if, if we knew that secret, <laughs> right? But I think that uh, it's been colder weather. People are indoors a little bit more. We're past the holidays and people are getting vaccinated and they're continuing to perform their physical distancing and mask wearing. So this combination certainly is effective at this point in time. Let's go to vaccines now because so many people want to know, they have questions about it. Um, I'm sure that uh, vaccinations have helped some with those caseload, but overall, just generally speaking, um, how is Cayuga County doing? Um, of course, I know that there's far more demand than there is supply right now, but uh, generally speaking of what you guys know of, of course you can't carefully track people that may have gone to the Expo Center or any other state sites, but for you guys in Cayuga County, those Cayuga County sites. We're very fortunate in our county. Our health department has been receiving a steady stream of vaccine after an initial bolus, let's mm -hmm. say. Uh, we also have a number of pharmacies who are participating in the vaccination program, as well as federally qualifying health care centers. So it's been a really great um, cooperative that we're all working uh, together to help address the needs in our community. Uh, thus far, I, I don't have uh, a tally for mm -hmm. how many you could county, but our county health department has vaccinated, uh, given at least 8,000 shots. Oh, okay. That's really good. Um, and you um, are dealing with just Moderna right now. Any chance that you would get J&J &J and, and why didn't you get Pfizer? And maybe they don't want to start mixing too many things into one or, or talk to us about um, what you guys are using as far as vaccine there in Cayuga County. So we do appreciate that there's not mixing. It helps mm -hmm. our tracking somewhat. Pfizer, we don't have the capacity with the deep freezers okay. to maintain that in our county, although we know that's available in Onondaga mm -hmm. County. Uh, Moderna is what we've been receiving. We do hope that we'll get Johnson & Johnson, and there's going to be some benefit there because it is one shot for some of the uh, residents that we choose to, that we want to try and engage. Um, obviously, Cayuga County, uh, like like much of central and upstate New York, um, a lot of rural spots. So, so let's talk about the different ways that you have been able to vaccinate. First off, you used some Cayuga County schools, right? How did that work? Which ones did you use and, and, and why in those particular areas of the county? Thank you for asking. Our schools have been tremendous partners right along with everything related to COVID and the vaccination is the same support. Our Cayuga Onondaga BOCES has been a wonderful site. Our Southern Cayuga schools were a wonderful site. Port Byron schools were a wonderful site. They were great because they're familiar. They're mm. the north of our county, the south of our county and central and we have a very long county. Yeah. Uh, they also had wonderful support staff and they gave us um, the benefit of their technology also. So it was a great uh, cooperative. Now we are more centralized in uh, the Finger Lakes Mall mm -hmm. and, and that will be good. It'll give us a little more flexibility of time of day that, that we're able to offer the vaccination clinics. Yeah, what a, what a great resource to have of uh, something that large. I mean, you know, I'm sure a lot of people would like to have it filled, filled with stores, but we're utilizing it. Uh, how important is it? And um, if I'm um, not mistaken, um, there's a direct bus route right there too, which could, could help some people as well. We're so pleased it is on the central bus route and we're um, playing phone tag at the moment and in and, and conversation uh, to see if that can be uh, enhanced to mm -hmm. assist people. Uh, we also have our community action program who has a transportation program which is going to help people as well. Uh, so we'll be sharing information about that as well uh, our partners here. It, it, there's definitely a community partnership in what we are doing to get vaccine out to people both when they come to our clinics as well as when we go to them. Yeah, speaking of go to them, I was uh, pretty impressed with this. Um, you're also taking the vaccine out into the community. So what's the plan there? How do you do that? 
Sure. So we're fortunate to not only have our, our excellent nurses and support staff, but we have a, a wonderful partnership with our uh, EMTs in the county, particularly through the city. And uh, they have, many of them have become vaccinators as well. So it allows us to really increase uh, the number of people that can provide the vaccine with our oversight. So uh, that being said, we went to a number of senior housing complexes and, and registered people and, and worked right floor by floor. People could sit in their doorway, we could screen them, they could receive their shot, we could monitor their well-being and go on to the next floor. Incredible to see. Kathleen Cuddy, we're, we're out of time, uh, but thank you so much for joining us. We'll have you back again soon. Uh, great job with the vaccine rollout, though. Glad to see it's uh, going much quicker than it was to start the year. We are, too. Thanks. Christy?